This is Benjamin Davis with Cointelegraph. I'm here in Davos with Amy. Amy, could you please introduce yourself to our audience and tell them a bit about what you do? Absolutely. Hi, my name is Amy Seidman, and I'm the founder of BFlow, which is decentralizing sustainable business and investment. We're essentially creating a proof of reputation. Uh, the parent company is Noble Profit, uh, which is around business intelligence and matching sustainable solutions. And we're um, also a member of the newly formed United Nations FCCC uh, Climate Chain Coalition, uh, as well as a couple of other organizations that are dedicated to using the UN SDGs uh, to help transform uh, the planet for, for the good of all. Very cool. Wow. So, uh, I mean, blockchain has a lot of different use cases, and you've mentioned a couple, and so I'll just tackle them one at a time. Well, the first one, so you talk about, like, climate change. Uh, how, how can we utilize this technology to basically help save the planet and stop us from doing all of the terrible things we're doing to it? Well, it's interesting because it, it really crosses many, many different industries, and um, there, there are quite a few companies that are, that are tackling the problems in different ways. Um, one has to do with supply chain. How do we know that this clothing that you're wearing doesn't have slavery? And how do we know that the food that we're eating uh, is actually organic and, um, and that the materials are sourced in a way that, uh, that is ethical? And so we're looking at the blockchain as a way of tracking those kinds of metrics. Um, and additionally, when you look at corporate claims and they, they talk about being green, uh, how do we actually validate that that's true? So the blockchain represents a really unique opportunity to uh, create uh, essentially a map of um, the sustainable metrics uh, that exists uh, that we're not really seeing. And it also enables us to um, interact in ways that we couldn't before. Um, so it, our focus right now is on data uh, tracking and validating. Um, many companies are developing investment vehicles uh, for impact, uh, creating peer-to-peer platforms where we have a component of what we're doing that will uh, enable peer-to-peer -peer, uh, purchasing um, within the supply chain uh, networks. And um, when you look at peer-to-peer, -peer, it's basically enabling that uh, small creator to scale up, um, reach different customers, and eliminate the middleman. We also have uh, financial inclusion um, companies that are creating opportunities for people who are essentially the unbanked. Um, so it, it really it manifests in a lot of ways, carbon trading, tracking, uh, enabling uh, people to have solar arrays and sell to their neighbors. Um, so it's just a vast uh, opportunity for, for many areas. And you spoke a bit about uh, proof of reputation. Can you elaborate? What do you mean by proof of reputation? Okay, so uh, one group that we're working with is indigenous clothing. And um, they're one of our uh, kind of use case studies and they uh, they manufacture clothing they work with local artisans and they um, work with organic cotton producers and they have some systems that are in place to validate uh, the cotton and uh, the carbon metrics that are saved when you use organic because basically when you're not using organic the soil has a lot of carbon in it um, and they then white label to uh, major corporations, one of which is Eileen Fisher, which is a wonderful brand, uh, fashion brand, um, who cares about the planet. And so what we're going to do is help uh, create that proof of reputation around these uh, sales to Eileen Fisher, uh, enable a third party validator to say, yes, that is true. These, uh, th this cotton is indeed organic and this, uh, so, so basically you have a mechanism that you know a trusted third party can come in and and essentially verify that that is true um, and then Eileen Fisher will be able to say here's our flag of approval our reputation is secure um, and many companies and investment firms will make claims as well I mean we have we're in a place and, and why this is relevant is um, eight trillion dollars have been made in commitments to divest from dirty investments. 
and we're talking about not in the crypto space, in the financial venture space. And uh, that's a tremendous amount of money. And they're, they're predicting this is going to increase to 40 trillion because of the millennials and women. Um, and how do we know that those investments that are being formed by JP Morgan and Morgan Stanley and other types of uh, entities are truly investing in uh, green companies or that the companies that they're picking from uh, are truly green? You know, the way that the metrics exist right now, um, there's a lot of hearsay. And um, you have groups like Morningstar Data. I don't know if you're familiar with mm. them. Um, they provide metrics for Wall Street um, and they source some of the information from the news. We all know about fake news. So there's many different ways that this information can be manipulated. And by using the blockchain, we can create these concrete immutable commitments and claims and validations. Um, additionally, major corporations have to answer to their brands uh, customers. Their brands are using the green flag to sell their products and give themselves a good name and you know such as with the United Nations uh, climate group there's 10,000 different kinds of uh, organizations and companies and corporations and partners and cities that are all saying we are going to do all these things. How do we track all of that? And, and managing that data and enabling that data to be accessible to a groups like the United Nations is very difficult when it sits behind uh, someone's firewall on their on their corporate server or or when you, they're even in the website in a PDF. So so we're creating a, a essentially a breadcrumb for for this uh, data to be uh, realized and, and seen, and then we can use that for all kinds of different purposes from commodities markets, futures markets, prediction markets. So could you tell us a bit about what you're working on right now and your plans going ahead? Yeah, so um, what we're working on right now uh, has to do with structuring our smart contracts and ensuring that we can use the United Nations SDGs as a metrics uh, because we believe that that forms a common language for uh, investment firms and um, for corporations to kind of all around the world be uh, reporting their metrics in a similar fashion and most of these groups are working towards that and the UN had, had formed these, uh, the UN SDGs are the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and there's 17 of them uh, which cover the gamut of you know fighting poverty to um, you know eliminating poverty to uh, addressing climate change and um, and so there's a whole set that we're focusing on that uh, relates mostly to the climate change uh, piece and um, I'm part of this newly formed organization uh, called the Climate uh, Chain Coalition, which is a UNFCCC uh, membership organization for uh, amplifying um, the use of blockchain for these types of projects. Um, and I had the privilege of being a part of Hack for Climate, which was with the COP23 during um, the, the meetings in the fall that they have every year around climate uh, in Bonn, Germany. And it was really exciting because they had 100 people from all around the world, of some of the most intelligent uh, engineers to uh, data scientists, um, with 40 mentors from different corporations to, um, you know, consensus was there, uh, Microsoft, Volkswagen, and, and creating these challenges that we could apply the blockchain to. And um, there were a number of projects that came out of that that were exciting. And um, we iterated Bflow uh, and a concept around peer-to-peer um, -to, -peer to scale. So how could we take uh, this small peer-to-peer -peer kind of concept and then enable uh, the scaling up to corporate purchases so we could eliminate, say, factory farming and um, the things that cause the blight mm -hmm. uh, on the world. And so it's very exciting to be a part of that. And um, being here at Davos, it's, I've had an opportunity to announce that uh, for the organization and to engage a number of other groups uh, to join us. So. Very cool. Yeah, thank awesome. you.